Long before there were Angry Birds, there were Mario, Luigi, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Those video game characters probably have a special place in your personal history, but, but would you consider them art? One of the nation's most prominent museums does. Karen Kafa has this week's Clicked In. Visitors come to the Smithsonian American Art Museum to appreciate icons like Georgia O'Keeffe, Edward Hopper, and right now, Mario, Pac-Man, and Sonic the Hedgehog. They're nostalgia for sure, but are they art? Chris Milicinos, guest curator for the temporary exhibition, The Art of Video Games, says absolutely. We find interpersonal and introspective you know, messages inside of these games. And so for me and for many of us that grew up in that generation, video games are in many senses the ultimate form of art. It's an interactive walk through gaming history, beginning with Atari's primitive home version of Pac-Man to the Nintendo invasion of the late 80s. Nintendo actually reintroduced the concept of the home video game machine back into American lives. And to the present day, the vivid graphics and sweeping musical scores of games for systems like the PlayStation 3. We're now at the point where we can fully articulate real world environments. We can create characters that look and feel very real to the player. Which gives way to an interesting artistic concept, the consumer as creator. They're behind the glass, so we can't touch them, but we can affect them. We can inject ourselves into the experience. So the next time you're merely passing the time with a game of Angry Birds, take a moment and appreciate it. One day, it could end up in a museum. I'm Karen Kafa, and you're now clicked in. After its run ends in Washington ends in September, the exhibition will go on tour to a number of U.S. cities, including Seattle, Memphis, Miami, Phoenix, Toledo, Ohio, and Flint, Michigan.